What's up guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this tutorial, we're gonna look at how to add a light box to your Wix website. We're here in the Wix editor on a sample portfolio page and we're gonna add a light box to it. All I have to do is go over to the little plus icon, that's the add list, and we can find light box here, uh, almost at the bottom. And it's gonna give us a bunch of choices. So we're just gonna pick one of these. I'm gonna select the first one. It's just like a welcome to my site light box. Once I click on that, it's gonna add it to my page. And once I have this added to my page, the first selection over here is the menus and pages icon. From there, we can actually manage our light boxes. So we have the site menu where we see all our pages. We also have the light boxes menu where we can see what light boxes we have on our website. Right now, we just have the welcome full screen. If we click the little ellipses, we can see settings, we can rename it, duplicate it, or delete it. So inside of the settings, we're gonna find light box settings, of course. We can automatically display this light box on pages if we want to. So if we want the light box to pop up first on any specific page or all pages, we can set that to yes and decide which pages we want that to happen on. We can also change the delay. So it's gonna take two seconds for this light box to pop up on this page. Down at the bottom, we can select how our light box closes whether it's with the X icon, a close button, or even both choices. And the last thing we can do here is set a link to the light box. So let's say that we don't want it to display on all pages or automatically at all. I'm gonna click no on automatically display and we're gonna to have to link our light box to make it pop up. But before we do that, we're gonna look at the design of our light box. So we can actually change the layout of our light box depending on what corner or center we want it to appear. We can adjust the offset so we can just tweak slightly where our light box appears on our site. For now, we're gonna keep that at zero. And I can exit back out of that. We can also adjust the design of it. So that's the color, the image, the video that's behind our light box. We can also adjust our overlay. So if we click out outside of our light box area onto the overlay, we can change that overlay background to be a graphic color image or video once again, or we can just do something like a darker background color. We can also click on color settings to adjust the opacity of that color if you'd like. We'll keep it here at 84. Now, of course, inside of our light box, we have elements. We can add all sorts of elements to our light box, anything that will fit within the bounds of it. So for instance, I can't add something that's full width here, but I can add any other text or elements, any other elements, whether it's a menu system or a newsletter sign up or a contact form inside of this light box. Now to exit out of the light box, go back to my page and set up a link for the light box. All I have to do is go up to my pages navigation and select the page I wanna to go to. So I'm gonna to go to the portfolio section of the site, which is our main page here. To add the light box in as a linked element, I need to add something to my page if I don't already have it. I'm gonna add just a shape, and we're just gonna select this one because I like the way it looks. I'm gonna click and drag that out here and just add it to the side of the header over here. Now we're not gonna talk about this too much. I won't resize it. But the main thing is when I have an element and I click on it, I can click on this link icon and in the same way that I link a page, I can link a light box and select my welcome full screen light box and hit done. From here what I can do is preview our page in the upper right hand corner. And once I do that, I can actually click on our link and it's gonna pop open our light box just like that. So that is everything about light boxes in a nutshell. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, ask me down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you next time.